Hey everyone, Irix Guy here, and welcome to my self-engineered data center. Uh, this I wired all of this myself. It may look like a rat's nest, and I know it does, but that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is this puppy right over here, this AT&T U-verse, and that's the uh, that's the gateway that AT&T installs at your house or your place of business, for that matter. Their business model looks a little bit different, but. I mean, that's irrelevant. The problem I've had with the AT&T U-verse, yeah, the gateway, that box right down there, is the, uh, is the wireless portion of it. It would continue to drop. I mean, ultimately, as you can tell, I prefer to use a wired, uh, a wired setup. But when I'm using my iPad or my MacBook Air or iPhone at home, you know, I want to have that uh, wireless... Uh, capability for it and not have to be you know not be tethered or anything so i use the uh, at&t uverse remote gateway for that now i found that it would continue to time out regardless of which wireless device i was using and there wasn't anything else running i didn't have uh, cordless phones microwave other uh, wireless devices so for whatever reason it would stay it would stay connected for a minute or so and then it would drop continuously and that was a problem because any active downloads or uploads, they would terminate. It was just a real pain. So what did I do to fix it? Well, it's actually quite simple. What you'll need to do, and if you're in the Windows world instead of the uh, Mac world, I mean, if you're in Windows, you can just open a command prompt and type ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, and get the gateway IP. It's probably going to be 192.168.0.254 or 192 1. Dot two five four, and what you'll do is connect to that uh, through your web browser. Uh, you'll just type in that IP address, and it should take you to the administrative login web page for this device, which is your AT&T Uverse uh, remote gateway. So, if you don't have a login and password for it, and I'm not going to show that in this video, but what you can do is look at the side of the AT&T uh, remote gateway, that black box down there that I'm pointing at, and you can get the login and password information from there. And then you can log in. Once you log in, you're going to want to go to the wireless settings. And by default, it's probably got wireless and it's probably got a channel in there. But it's probably set to wireless channel auto. <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is pick a uh, wireless channel. So specify it and make it to where it's not auto. And what that's hopefully going to do, at least it did for me, is prevent the... AT&T Uverse wireless uh, gateway from trying to identify other wireless channels because that's at least what was causing mine to drop periodic or not periodically it was dropping every few minutes or so so once I specified a static wireless channel and I picked five channel five but depending upon your uh, your location the uh, the wireless channel that's utilized may be different so try it with uh, I mean, if you want to do what I did, try it with Channel 5 first. See if you can maintain a connection for more than a few minutes. And if you can, then you're good. If not, keep trying other channels. But just be sure you set, you specify the channel and it's not set to auto wireless channel. So I hope this tip helps. I know it saved me. Um, it was really frustrating to deal with. But, you know, once I manually specified the wireless channel, all's been hunky-dory with my wireless so uh, feel free to share this video with others and thanks for watching y'all have a good day and any comments or questions you know feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer and be sure to subscribe to the Irix Guy Adventure channel that's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy y'all have a good day